Hi there, welcome to Let's Play Guitar and today I want to show you how you can play a photograph by Ed Sheeran from his album X. Now this is a very beautiful song and it has some beautiful guitar in it too. So I'm using a capo on the second fret for this one. Now you can totally play it without the capo and um, I probably will be doing another lesson if you want. Um, just leave it, in, leave it in the comments. But I'm using a capo for this one to uh, make it easy for the opening melody, the opening tune of um, the song. <laughs> This one this makes it quite a little easier um, than the one without the capo okay and the chords itself then also become very easy you've got three open chords and um, just four chords for the entire song so the capo on the second fret makes it very easy if you want me to do another one without the capo then let me know so let's see how to play this one now in the very beginning of the song comes this tune whole tune that I will be showing you guys later so skip to this part to get to the, over there uh, first I just want to get through the structure of the song which is the verse and the chorus and the bridge and the main idea what we're carrying for the entire song the chords so the verse goes like this same for the next lines also you know all that so the chords that we're using are D major okay now we are doing palm muting that I will talk about later but first you need the second note and the third note okay so we're not really playing the first string yet right so this note and this note and we're using the fourth string third string and second string mainly to strum okay we'll get into the strumming part later after D we're using a B chord okay so this looks like a bar chord but we are not really having a bar because you just need these three notes second fret over here fourth fret over here and fourth fret over here on the fourth and third strings okay so only these three strings are we using for the B chord then you move to your next chord which is A Again, these two notes on the second fret of the fourth and third strings, and the fifth string is open. All right, and then we're using a G chord. Again, you need only the top strings over here, third fret, second fret, open and open. All right, now let's get into the strumming part. We are doing palm muting. So, for palm muting, you have your palm and the side. A flesh of your palm you just keep it um, just where the strings begin okay and then you strum all right now you can bring it more closer uh, over the strings and you will get a fatter sound okay but you want to just get the sweet spot where you find that your guitar sounds really nice according to you so you go back or forth depending on your guitar okay so for the strumming pattern for D chord be using Okay, so down, 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 up. Okay, so like I said before, down, down, down is on these three strings. Okay, with the palm meeting. So down, 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 and then down, down, up. Okay, now when you do the up, you automatically raise your palm. So there you don't have palm meeting. Okay, so you get down, 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 up. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, down, up. Then you go to your next chord, which is a B. Now you're using these three strings. Okay, with the same string pattern. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, down, up. Okay, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, down, up. A chord now using the same strings down 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 up and then you go to next chord which is G okay so down 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 so you have loving can her D major again 
B chord. Down, 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 up, down, 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 E chord. Down, 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 and G chord. Down, 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 down. When it gets hard. Okay. Go to B. Two, three, one, two, three, one, down, up, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, down, up. E chord. And then you go to the pre-chorus of your song. Now to make the strumming pattern easy, what you can do is forget about the up. Okay? So what you can just do is down, 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 down. Okay? That is it. That makes it easy. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. So D chord. Well, we can hold down to three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, B. One, two, three, one, two. Okay, forget about the upstroke. Go to A, all downstrokes over here, okay? Forget about that. So for the pre-chorus, we have the same chord, but in different order. So you have B first. Okay, the right hand will be completely the same. Then you have G chord, then D, and then A. Okay, so the pre-chorus will sound something like this. We can Sorry about the lyrics over there. So the chords I told you, the strumming pattern will be the same as well. You've got B chord, and here you do down, 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 up. Okay, so here you do just, just one time. So down, 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 up. Or down, 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 down. Okay, then you go to your G chord. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. D chord. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. A chord. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Pretty simple. We keep the slow in photograph. Okay. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two. And our hearts never closing. Hearts never broken. Time so forever frozen still. Then you go to A major for the last word still. And here you can just play a simple downstroke. Still. So, time so forever frozen still. Okay, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Get it? And then you go to the next chorus of the song. Now, the chorus is very simple. We're using D major, we're using A major, we're using B chord, we're using G major. Now, here, what I like to do is I like to go on the lower strings as well just for the chorus if you want you can do that as well okay so you can that I will teach you later. So the chorus, same string pattern, same chords uh, that I just told you, D to A to B to G. You got down, 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 down. One more time, down, 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 down. Okay, so you can one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Move to A chord. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, B. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, G chord. One, two, three, one, two. Okay, and then you stop. So on G you will have one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Stop over there. So you got you won't never be alone. One, two, three. Wait for Okay, so once again from B, you won't ever be alone. Wait for me to come home. All 
right? So that is how you play the chorus of the song. Now after the chorus, you go back to your second verse, slow and can heal, you know, whole thing. And then the second pre-chorus again, and then the chorus again. So the second chorus is a little bit extended. You got two paragraphs in the second chorus. So the second paragraph will go like, and if you hurt me, well that's okay, baby, only words, please. Okay, you got the same chorus, same chord, sorry. Bridge of the song. Wait for me to come home. Wait for me to come home. This is the bridge. Wait for me to come home. Wait for me to come home. Then you go to the chorus again. So if you notice, the bridge is exactly the same as our pre chorus of the song. And if you remember, the pre chorus was B to G. To D to A. So when you're finishing the second chorus, I will never let you go. Wait for me to come home. Bridge, it's B, G. One, two, three, one, two, D, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, A. Again, come home, you know? Come home. Then you go to the chorus again. You can fit. All those lines. I don't remember the lyrics for that. So the chorus again, and then you go to the extended chorus. The, the final chorus is also extended. Then again, you got the if you, if you hurt me, well, that's okay, you know. And then the, go to the very ending of the song. And then the very ending of the song, when I'm away, same chorus chords, but here the guitar is really light, okay? You can hear his vocals. So the, the guitar, you can, you know. Um, make it just simple downstream or if you want you can keep on with the same strumming pattern but really light on the strumming you know what I mean so when I'm away I remember how you kiss me same chorus chords stop wait for me to come home and that is the ending of the song so I hope you got it, nothing to worry about. The second chorus, after the second chorus, you go to the bridge of the song. The bridge chords are the same as our pre-chorus. And then when the pre-chorus finishes, you got the chorus chords over and over and over and over again until you finish the song, okay? So that is it for this song. Now let me show you how to play um, the intro. Okay, and this also comes after um, the ending of every chorus, I believe. Okay, so let's see how to play it. Now let's see how to play the intro, which is extended. And then you, the thing that you play after the ending of the chorus is only a little part of the intro. Okay, so the intro goes like this. Okay, so we have our fourth string open. Then you got 3rd fret on the B string, 2nd fret, 3rd fret again. So you get, once again, once again, and go back to the 4th string, okay, so, okay. So after the 4th string, you got 2nd fret on 3rd string and you pull off to the open. Okay, so you get once more slowly. And then you got the last thing, 4th fret on the 4th string. Now what I like to do is, you know, I like to do a hammer-on directly to the 4th fret because this just sounds nice. Um, if you play it individual, you, if you pick the note, you know, it doesn't sound as natural and as, you know, um, similar to the, to the actual song. So what I like to do is hammer-on. Now you can totally play the note if you want. 
okay so you can be like okay you can do like that or like this you see or you get it so this is happening once again and then you change the bass note okay so after this you just want to change the bass note the rest of the things uh, will remain the same now the bass note changes to okay second fret on the fifth string okay so you go fifth string this is the same so go then back to the fifth string so you have then this again okay so the only the bass note is changing so slowly once again okay and then you change the bass note to open on the fifth string okay so the bass note is changing again look carefully i'll play it very slowly get it and then the last bass note which will be over here on third fret of the top string and the rest will be the same just like the earlier ones okay so the beginning goes like this from the beginning i'll play it very slowly change change for the last time now for the last one what you want to do is do it one time then after doing this you don't do it again what you want to do is just play the top string and stay there that is the ending of the intro okay so the last one will be you get it the whole intro once more one more time go to the verse okay now the after the ending of the chorus you get this tune again but like i told you earlier this tune is now very short only the first part you're doing okay so it goes like this when you finish the chorus you will never be alone wait for me to come home and that is it okay so you can already see the same thing we are doing I'm gonna play it really slowly. Um, I've, I've explained the whole thing to you earlier. I'm gonna play it slowly to see what's happening. And that is it. Then you go to the next verse of the song. Loving can hear. So once again, I'll do it slowly. You will never be alone. Wait for me to come home. You stop at the third note. Can hear. All right. So that is it, guys, for this beautiful song by Ed Sheeran. I hope that I could help you. And if I did help you, then please make sure to give this video a like. It really helps me out. And I really appreciate all of your support. And um, 
if you want to if you want to see how to play more songs by Ed Sheeran, you totally can. Just go to my channel. I'll have a complete playlist over there, and I have ten more songs for Ed Sheeran from his album X, and I plan to do more. So leave your requests down below. And that is it for this lesson. Subscribe to my channel for more Ed Sheeran and for more easy guitar lessons. And I will see you guys next time. Till then, goodbye.